Hi guys, Shamion here from Food by Shamion. I hope all is well. I am going to do a requested eggnog demo for you all. Let me call on the ingredients that you all will need for this, okay? You will need four egg yolks, one and a half teaspoon of nutmeg, grated nutmeg, three quarter cup of granulated sugar, or white sugar as it is on here, half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, one cup of heavy cream, two cups of whole milk. If you want to know about the heavy cream, comment below because at times I didn't find old. Okay, I'm gonna start by packing the eggs. You don't really get this at your regular supermarkets to buy. A lot of times I have to go to an American food chain supermarket here locally to get that. Okay, but for all questions in regard to the heavy whipping cream, comment below. I'll answer in a timely manner. I'm moving on now to getting my four egg yolks prepared for this demo. I just have a, on my rim can a egg separator. If you don't have that, of course, I'll show you how to do it the traditional way. You always want to do your eggs one by one in the event that it's not good. You don't want to lose our entire recipe because you have a boiled egg, a bad, sorry, egg. So you see, it just runs all the side, all the whites. It's just, it just comes all the side very easy, okay? Just want to make sure you get out as much of it as possible. Your whites, that is. So then go in went one uh, egg yolk. Remember, it's four eggs, okay? Look for somewhat uh, big eggs. You don't want to use too small. You don't want to use eggs that's too small, okay? That's tiny. And also, a tip with this is that you look for eggs as fresh as possible. Well, these eggs that I'm using, I got them at our local fresh produce market. What the inter my international uh, viewers might know as the farmers market okay well, there is a lot of different things with eggs now uh, a lot of different you know ways that eggs I'm gonna show you all now how to do it the traditional way crack the egg and then you open the traditional way There's cage three eggs and all those different things now. Meaning that you know the, the, the chickens they were not cage like we knew it or knew it when we were growing up back here. This one is very tiny, the the, the um shell, but I'm gonna see if it can hold it. Yes it can. So that's how you get it the traditional way, okay? Just let all the white run off. using your shell as that device that I use. Then we the third one. Fourth and final egg before I get directly into the fun part of things on this demo. I wanna say eggnog, it's not a local thing. It's It's an international thing, okay? So you all want to uh, keep that in mind. But persons, they do add alcohol to it, bourbon and so forth. Bourbon is an uh, alcoholic beverage internationally. They do add things like that to it to somewhat help with the bacteria of the, uh, the bacteria that you are carrying. Because you are carrying a lot of bacteria. If you didn't know, now you know. Uh, salmonella and strep and things like that, okay? And you want to wash your hands whenever you are you know, dealing with eggs, more eggs and such. I'm just using a kitchen safe wipe to sanitize my area. You don't want to leave, take those things for granted because then you might not remember where you got touched with some of those eggs. I always use kitchen safe wipes. Okay, so I'm getting, be, getting ready to pour my cream into my blender. If you don't have this traditional blender, old school blender, you can use a handheld. or an emulsion blender. So I'm gonna do the same thing, get a glass bowl, get a glass bowl, uh, 
but we're sure it, it won't cause your, your uh, beautiful head not to curdle because with glass a lot of times uh, fragrances and flavors don't attach itself to glass so you're safer using glass than any other you know thing there is okay or you, some persons might even use a stainless steel bowl I just want to show you all the emulsion on a blender so now it's one to get in the egg now together A lot of times when, I, when my subscribers and supporters and so forth fans request demos, they are right here when it's uploaded. They comment immediately letting me know that they saw it and they thank me. And I appreciate that with you all a lot. Okay? So I'm going to get in my... That was my heavy cream that I just poured in. I'm going to get in my two... My two cups of full cream are uh, UHG milk. Remember, for my international friends, my milk is just in a vintage milk bottle. It's not a brand. You see, brand that you are comfortable with. Remember, for my international friends, you all want to use whole milk, okay? I don't want to put low fat milk in things like these. You're going to have egg now, have it. I'm using the culinary measure instead to measure my, my two cups. Here's one. There's my second one. I'm just going to get in the sugar. I'm not going to, I have the sugar measure with something already, okay? A lot of times, like I said, they use pasteurized eggs. If you don't, if you are going to make it like I do, and you are somewhat, you know, anxious or having anxiety because there's raw eggs in there just simmer it for a couple minutes on a low uh, fire on your stove so i'm going to pulse when i'm pulsing you won't hear me okay just a sec uh, and this is why a lot of times i love the traditional i love the handheld and so forth the handheld blenders and so forth some of you might even have that other well-known kitchen blender that's going. I'm not calling the brand. Yeah, I'm not going to call the brand of that well-known blender. It's all the rage these days in the culinary world. But I know you all, from the time I said that, some of you already knew what I'm speaking about. I'm not doing sponsored content on my channel. And I don't, um, I don't endorse any particular thing. Sometimes I'm just direct and I say what I'm using. So I'm going to uh, press smoothie again on my blender you can press press smoothie or milkshake you won't be hearing me for just a couple seconds okay there is where i want to leave it i am using believe it or not i you all know i speak about the essence houses uh essence and extracts all the time i got i got a beautiful eggnog flavor extract Comment below for more on this. See it's egg now. It's just the most gorgeous smelling uh, extract I've ever came across. I'm going to add some of that same eggnog extract. It's in my glass here. I'm going to add it directly into my blender. It already smells like eggnog. Eggnog, sorry, in its raw form. The extract that is. I'm also going to use some pure vanilla. Remember, they are. Uh, a lot of persons you might you might not be able to access this uh eggnog extract it's okay don't panic the nutmeg and so forth does the same thing really the only thing i love this way it's intense and it adds the color that eggnog is known for and you also the beautiful color i'm getting ready to add some uh grated nutmeg on directly in my blender and of course when I am presenting the final uh, glasses I'm going to add some also this is what nutmeg looks like if you are newbie cook or you don't know what I'm speaking about okay I'm just using my zester don't go berserk if you are if you live in Trinidad and Tobago and you're going to buy the extra because the eggnog extract it's very uh, it's very intense with the, with the nutmeg flavors and so forth already, the spices. So let me just 
believe it or not, it's that easy if you are going to uh, if you are going to get it from the store because of the eggs. Here is where you want to do that before you get it into a sterilized bottle. I'm just going to put a, a bit of salt. I will liken it onto a quarter teaspoon of salt. Salt goes into literally everything, believe it or not. It has balanced salt flavors. I'm going to use some main sea salt from my stonewall kitchen uh, grinder. So just about that. Give an expulse. easy like that we are done just it's on to a uh, final presentation I want to speak about the sterilized bottle I want to speak about the sterilized bottle uh, you want to ha have a bottle even if it's a used bottle like I have this vintage bottle but sterilize it by that I mean get some boiling hot screaming hot water down in here okay and then you store your eggnog in your refrigerator in the coldest part of your refrigerator, not on your refrigerator door and such, as the least coldest part of your refrigerator. some candy cane straws there I'll just get a bit and cut it they were both my stemless wine glass and my mason jar was in the freezer section of my refrigerator so it's a bit cloudy because I wanted uh, my egg not cold okay this won't transport well don't even attempt unless you have a lot of ice and you literally bury it in the ice in a cooler a well working cooler I'm getting ready to pour my lovely eggnog into my stemless glass first. Followed by my mason jar. It's insulated so it's a bit cloudy looking. It keeps drinks really cool and nice. You will have to double up and so forth and triple up on this recipe if you want a lot, okay? I'm just going to add some strawberry with cream at the top of it. And it has different flavors of the whipped cream is now being so believe it or not. This is just the original one. I'm just going to put up a shaving of a bit of uh, our... Wow, we just drop at the top. These things happen. I cook for real. A shaving of our nutmeg at the top of it. You can garnish it with scythe or decorate it with uh, hear me scythe. Sorry, I said the wrong thing. Where did scythe come out? It's because I cook so much, I hardly do drinks. Excuse me, not scythe. You can garnish it with cinnamon sticks and the likes, okay? It's going to just be gorgeous. It's a light moment there without error. It will go everywhere. The nutmeg, that is, it's all over the counter or my work area. Those things, they are to be expected when working on such things like those. It's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, uh it's just the most gorgeous glass of eggnog that i've ever seen guys if, it's, if you are first time you are welcome and welcome and thank you for viewing uh from to my returning viewers you all are the absolute best i appreciate i love all of you all including my new supporters if you didn't know i'm telling you so by sharing on we are all over social media we are on Instagram public page and Instagram account. We are on Facebook a public business page and we also have a YouTube channel all under one name food by Shamion. We have a Pinterest board. You want to look for me on Pinterest Shamion Williams and then you will see my board food by Shamion. Uh, okay, we have a website. That website is www.foodbyshamion.com we have an email address. If you want to speak with me privately, you can do so. Send me an email or email address foodbyshamion at gmail.com. Guys, I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for all your love and support, all your sharing. Until I'm with you all, bye.